Today's music is often shaped by electronic instruments. Recreating those sounds live is a real challenge. These are some great ways to imitate electronic drum sounds on an all-acoustic drum kit. We prepared three setups to meet the sound ideals of three of the most influential electronic dance music styles, drum and bass, house, and trap. Even though all of them use electronic drum sounds, the aesthetics and characteristic sounds are very different. First, let's have a look at the drum and bass kit. This musical genre usually features fast beats with many ghost notes and therefore requires short sounds. We used an 18-inch kick drum with a pre-dampened head and a hole in the rezzo head. The short sound fits perfectly. We used a 10-inch snare with a lower tuning and muffled the batter head. Small snares deliver more tone than larger ones with a lower tuning. In order to get a really short hi-hat sound, we placed a 12-inch hi-hat on an X-hat stand and taped the cymbals together. Effect cymbals like the Zildjian A Custom EFX work great to imitate electronic sounds because of their fast attack and short sustain. Stacks work great to imitate sounds that stem from gated white noise as well. We also added a 14-inch snare and placed an aluminum plate on the batter head. This shortens the tone of the drum and leaves you with a very percussive sound. While drum and bass beats are very percussive, house music beats often feature longer pad-like cymbal sounds that create a larger sound character. A Zildjian K Custom Special Dry Trash worked great to get a long sustain and trashy sound, which is perfect for our sound aesthetics. We also placed a splash cymbal on top of the 14-inch snare to recreate a clap sound. Another important instrument for this kind of music is the hi-hat. In order to get a washy open hi-hat sound, we used thin cymbals with a chain on top to add some sizzle. A short and very controlled bass drum sound is also characteristic for house music. To achieve this, we used a 16-inch bass drum with muffling and a hole in the rezzo head. There are two more instruments for layering sounds which add more color to the grooves. The first is a stack that imitates white noise and is used mainly to add more character to the snare sound. The second one is a self-built clap machine that has the same purpose but works great as a separate sound as well. The aesthetics of our third kit are totally different. Trap music features fast hi-hat rolls and super low sub-bass layered bass drums. So we used a 26-inch kick drum without a rezzo head and an 8-inch Zildjian FX stack as the hi-hat. While the sustain and sub-bass of the bass drum enrich the grooves with lots of texture, the short and very percussive hi-hat sounds add small details. Like with the house setup before, a splash cymbal placed on the snare works great to recreate clap sounds. Then we installed a batter head to the snare side of a 10-inch snare and played the drum upside down. This provides a very short and harsh sound that works really great in electronic contexts. The cymbal we used here is the 12-inch Spiral Stacker by Zildjian. The very special character of the cymbal features a lot of high frequencies and sustain. This works perfectly to imitate electronic cymbal sounds.
Even though all three kits imitate electronic styles, they sound completely different. It's impressive how close you can get to the original sound without using sample pads or even triggers. Which kit did you like the most and do you have even more ideas to recreate electronic sounds? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Now go ahead and use these ideas to build your own electronic sounding drum setup.